Hi, my name is Ozai Samore. I'm a plumbing teacher and instructor known throughout the industry as OZ. In this vis visual presentation, other than piping underneath the floor, I will describe and explain to you, based on my own experience, the locations of the various components that are attached to your bathroom plumbing fixtures. The most common residential family bathroom has a two-piece gravity flush tank toilet, tub and shower, sink or vanity. First, we will, re will review some of the common items that are connected to the bathroom plumbing fixtures. Secondly, we will perform a step-by-step -step visual and hands-on inspection. By the conclusion of this presentation, you have developed a newfound understanding and a broader knowledge of your bathroom plumbing fixtures and the components. The two major sources of a water leak can occur from the water pressure supply piping or the drainage discharge piping. The water pressure supply piping will leak until it's fixed. Pipes may also sweat when cold water passes through them in the warmer interior air spaces in the home. And this water condensing on the surface of pipes may drip, causing moisture to appear where no leaks exist. Leaks on the drainage discharge pipe will only leak when water is going down the drain. If there is a leak from the upstairs bathroom to the downstairs ceiling below, it's the first sign that you have some type of a leak. Some other common sources of leaks as it pertains to the plumbing in your bathroom can occur from cracked grout in the wall tiles, sealant or corking cracking, gaps around the perimeter tub, and splashing water escaping past the shower door track or the shower curtain. Even a small amount of water can trickle between the walls and through the floor and ceiling if it gets behind the shower tile. Let's review some of the components in the bathroom that are attached to the water pressure supply piping above the floor. For example, shutoff valves, sink faucet, water supply connector, tub water supply connector, tub shower faucet water supply piping, tub and shower spout connection, sink and tub faucet. Next, we will review some of the components that are attached to the drainage discharge piping above the floor, for example, traps for the sink or vanity, waste overflow tub drain, bathtub trap, toilet bowl and flush tank, old wax ring seal and closet mounting bolts. And on the right hand of the slide, you can see some of the uh, pictures of the visual components that are attached to the water supply pressure piping. Here you have some visual pictures of the components attached to the drainage discharge piping. You see the P-trap, the bowl wax ring and bolts, tub drain waste and overflow, you see an S trap, you see a sink drain pop up assembly, you see a toilet flush tank and bowl, and you see the bathtub trap. My step by step inspection checklist some things you need a four in one screwdriver, a flashlight, slip joint pliers, adjustable wrench, paper towels. Okay, are well, you ready? Let's get started. Grab your flashlight and some paper towels so that we can perform a visual leak detection inspection and preventive maintenance test. As we perform each inspection, we will be checking around the bathtub, shower, toilet, and sink. Wipe each connection with a dry towel and then look for a wet spot on the tissue. Make sure it's not moisture or condensate. Note, be aware of your individuals or supply shutoff valves for specific fixtures and its location can save you a lot of money as pertains to your water bill or water damage repairs. Let's start with the toilet. Toilet leaks can occur for any one of these components that are attached to the toilet. For example, uh, you see a loose water supply connection to the flush tank fill valve, flush valve and overflow tube, uh, flush valve flapper seal, loose pack and metal compression nut, on the shutoff valve, flush tank to bowl gaskets, loose flush tank to bowl connections, the bowl, the bowl wash inside the bottom of the flush tank or dry rotted, a water supply valves co corroded or leaking. And you see the visual pictures of the hours are showing you the locations of these components. The fill valve fills the tank with water and the flush valve releases the water stored in the tank. 
The most common source of water leaks from the inside of the flush tank can come from one of these components, the fill valve or water control valve. A continuous trickling sound usually means water is running over the top of the overflow tube inside the tank. Tank flapper and flapper seal. Periodic refills without flushing is usually the result of a worn rubber flapper that is allowing the water to seep from the tank into the bowl and down the drain. Tank to bowl, washers, boat, and gasket. After years of flushing, the toilet tank bolts may begin to leak as rubber washers inside and outside the tank wear out. Drips of water on the bolts and nuts and on the floor under them will show that the boats uh, need new washers and a tank to bowl gasket. If the nuts, wa nuts washer bolts and gaskets are rusted or corroded, they should be replaced. These are some of the visual pictures of the components for the toilets. You see the water supply shut off valve. Complete toilet flush tank repair kit. Wax ring bolts for setting the toilet bowl to the floor flange. Water supply toilet connector toilet flush tank flapper. Uh, you see the example of the uh, flush tank to bowl rubber gasket washers and bolts connections. If you have a loose toilet bowl that rocks, but eventually loosen a wax ring seal between the toilet and the closet flange. We check the toilet between the tank and the bowl and the bowl and the floor. The connection between the toilet and the floor flange is sealed by a bowl wax ring. If you flush the toilet and water seeps out around the base of the toilet bowl or through the sealer, it's time to replace the bowl wax ring. This is the most common source of this type of leak. Note. The use of in-tank cleaners containing bleach or chlorine can seriously corrode the fittings in the flush tank and cause leakage. Next, we review the sink and vanity. These can occur from any one of the components that are attached to the sink or vanity, for example. Uh, you see the P-trap or S-trap, loose joint connections, loose faucet supply joint connections, loose packing nut or compression nut on the supply valves. Loose pop-up fanning assembly connection, dripping faucet. Look for leaks at the supply lines and the drainage connections to the sink. The packing gasket, which seals the valve stems of a typical shutoff valve, or a faucet stem, seals when compressed. An old dry rotted gasket can dry out over time and become so compressed that it can no longer maintain a watertight seal. At last, we will review the tub and shower. Leaks can occur for any one of these components that are attached to the tub and shower. For example, waste overflow drain loose joint connection, tub overflow drain leak, drain trap loose joint connection, loose packing nut or compression nut on the shutoff valve, loose packing nut on the faucet valve stem, tub spout diverter that drips, dripping faucet, dripping shower head, faucet water supply connection, crack grout in the wall tiles, seal and caulk in the gaps around the tub, shower door or the shower curtain. And on the right hand side of the slide you see some visual pictures of the bathtub components. Visual picture of the tub overflow drain gasket. If you're experiencing leaks when the tub is full of water it may be time to replace the overflow gasket. The overflow gas that sits behind the overflow plate and provides a seal around the overflow pipe of a bathtub. Uh, we, we have a visual picture of a bathtub access panel. Most bathtubs would have an access panel behind the tub. Access panels provide service to the back of the faucets, the drain for a tub, and the mixing valve of a shower. They also allow for easy inspection and troubleshooting for potential problems. With access panels, plumbing can be inspected frequently, which can prevent minor leaks from becoming more costly repairs. And you can see from the example in the demo, the tub and faucet change out. It shows you water stains from a leaking overflow gasket, and it also shows you water stains from water getting behind the town. Bathtub access panels are removable for inspection. Visual picture of a three-handle tub and shower diverter. Uh, you see a large blow up of a faucet stem packing. 
and loose faucets stem packing nuts can leak cause the water to trickle down inside the wall. Even a small amount of water can trickle between the walls and through the floor and seal it if it gets behind the shower towel. Tighten the packing nut or replace the packing washer. Most plumbing manufacturers of the products listed in this presentation provides installation structures and support on their websites as well as the toll-free telephone numbers to call for additional support. Thank you for taking time to view, to view this presentation.